welcome to another edition of Cyril's Brush Spiel Table Talk with... What the heck is wrong with you? Breathe, damn it! <laughs> Niels and... Schwan. <laughs> Sorry, I hold my breath. And that's what we're reviewing today is Hold Your Breath. A game from Mayday Games. It's fairly new. I think it just came out. It's for two to four players. Optional expansion lets you increase it five to six. So Niels is going to give us the lowdown on the rules. Uh, yeah, as but as let, let's, yeah, but yeah. First of all, let me recover, and second of all, oh, it's really hard. Anyway, it's a sequential of uh, Walk the Plank. So the story behind the game is, and I will tell that before I go into the rules, is uh, all this stupid pirate they are shoved from the. <laughs> Plank into the water and not into the Kraken. Luckily, they are not dead, but now they try to dive. And the pirate who is diving deepest can maybe survive and be the super pirate. The other pirates are, yeah, uh, you know, pirates are stupid. We talked about that uh, in a different story, I guess. So, yeah, this is a sequel. Uh, to walk the plank, and that's funny. In the rule book, it's always back and forth between walk the plank and hold your breath. Let's go to the rules. It's my turn, right? Yeah. The game hold your breath is separated in two phases. Phase one is diving deep into the ocean to a point wherever you can reach. So let's say this one. Then at the end of the phase, which comes if this stack is over and there's no more cards to draw back to your hand, then immediately the, ups, uh, the, the swimming upstairs uh, phases comes into play. Each player marks his deepest uh, diving with this anchor token here and starts from there while swimming up ways. Obviously, the player who dived to the deepest point wins the game, but ha, keep in mind, at the end of the game, only the player who reaches the uh, waterline is surviving. The player who's ending up here, he's dying. So even if he is deeper than the yellow player, he is surviving and he's winning the game. So winner of the game is the guy who deepest, uh, who dives deepest and survives. That's a clue on this game. How does it work? You have always five cards on your hand. Each uh, turn ends, each single turn ends with redraw up to five new cards. You can discard as many cards if you want, but you redraw up to five cards. What can you do with your cards? You always have to play, that's a must have, an uh, aqua card. So you always have to have an aqua card. You can play one, two, whatever you want, and you can play this flipper card. This flipper card has to match the number in it, so there are only numbers 10 or 5 in it. In this case, I match this and I match this, so I can swim upwards or downwards 15 points. So let's say we are in the phase 1, so I'm swimming down 15 cards. I have still one card and I can do something with my card if I want. The cards are divided into two sections. This section only with the flippers, or the aqua, or a wild card, I show it in a second, or the bottom thing. Once you're playing the bottom action, it's an action and you don't use the card for swimming. You use the card either for the upper or the down thing. Once you're done with your, in this case, four cards, I can decide to discard this card or hold it on my hand. In this case, I decided, redraw up to five new cards and the next player plays. We play that all turn, all day long, until this stack is running out. Let's talk a little bit about the bottom of the cards. What can be on the bottom of the cards? So, first of all, there's a penny. And let's say I have this penny card on my hand and I don't want to use that. I can panic easily show one who is sitting here. Uh, and say, hey, show one, you are panicked. So next time, before he panics, he has to play a calm card before he can do anything else. This cards mean discard a card. I can play this card on that player here and he has to discard a card. Keep in mind, you always have four cards. So 
there's no way to discard someone down to zero cards or two or whatever. You can only punish him with his discard a card once each round. So that is another panic card. This is draw a new card. Easily play this card if you don't like it. Draw a new card and take it, whatever that is. There's the next card, which is, wow, this little, is a dolphin, a flipper or whatever that is. So, and this little helper, you know dolphins are a uh, kid's favorite. So this dolphin here uh, can copy each card in the game, except for there's a Kickstarter bonus card. But we are not talking about Kickstarter bonus cards here. This card can copy each other card. So, we have another wild card, there are only two or three in it. So, then we have the Kraken card. Hey, do you remember this artwork, maybe from Walk the Plank? This Kraken means everybody has to discard one card. Very powerful. We also have the Shark. The Shark is a very interesting card, because you can play it here to panic someone, and the player has to play the calm card before he can do other stuff, but this shark moves around, so he can send it back to me. So this is a little bit complicated. The only way to get really rid of this shark is by playing the Kraken. The Kraken is killing the shark. So we talked about all these other actions, that the action they are in the base game without any Kickstarter. Keep in mind, once we are going down, in the next phase you have to keep up and yeah you can imagine i'm pretty sure you can imagine every time one player dives really deep on here every player is in the next phase fighting against this guy and hitting him in his face with the cards okay so thank you for holding your breath uh, did i <laughs> i thought i talked a lot but anyway <laughs> all right so Component quality. I want to start out by saying I like these custom meeples, little anchors. Oh yeah. And the custom pirates. I think they're the same ones from Walk yeah. the Plank. We're yeah, probably going to be yeah. doing a lot of comparison between Walk the Plank for obvious reasons, but yeah, component wise, the, I have no issues. Yeah, the cards are good as always from Mayday, right? Again, sleeving them. Uh, Mayday gave us some sleeves to put them in. I recommend that because you shuffle these cards a lot and yeah and you always have your on your hand and thinking like better not to scuff them up and then I don't know games like this I like to sleep cards so they don't make marks on me too um, what about how it plays the mechanism yeah uh, so just to complete that section <laughs> okay, of I have no complaints about the quality of, of course not what I really like is that can you give, give me over the box for a second, that it has the same format like Walk the Plank, so you can easily stack that. Very portable. Yeah, <laughs> so that, that's clever design. I mean, you you can you can. Oh, yeah. One thing that bugs me when there's a really tiny game like this and they put it in a huge. Oh box. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do that with you, this. You can expect that from a publisher that they are doing this, but we should point that out. Yeah, mechanics. So. Technically, um, I was really, really, really surprised uh, what's coming up after Walk the Plank. And yeah, the mechanics, I mean, it works, but it's more or less hand management of your cards. Um, there is, again, like in Walk the Plank, not a real strategy you can follow. You you have to deal with what you get on your hand. A very so reactive game. Yeah, it's really luck driven game uh, so the mechanics there are technically not a, not a lot of mechanics instead of drawing five cards and deal what comes out yeah basically so there's it. no strategy you can handle that or uh, strategy wise well we can talk about that a little bit later um, the mechanisms yeah I wouldn't say there's anything too advanced here is that a good thing or a bad thing well I, 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 we'll mean, it's, about that in I mean it's another kids friendly game so and it's <laughs> fast and easy to play and this is kid friendly <laughs> I don't like, like walk the plank yes okay maybe in a way oh. maybe in a way okay okay so I'm not talking about mechanisms you are always 
uh, hurting me. I have no idea why your knife is so sharp. Oh, we're nice. No, 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 we're no, friends. no, no, no. Friends. Not so far. <laughs> it looks like you're still a little bit off. No, anyway, so that was mechanisms. Um, what's next? Uh, fun and replayability, I think. Oh, credits. Oh, we're getting out of order here. We're, it's, yeah. it's late, we're tired, we're exhausted. <laughs> Only because my Critics. I am pretty sure you can't hear me. So, uh, critics, yeah. yeah. Um, ah, that's so hard for me to say that. It's it's really hard. Let's say like this. If I would get this game without knowing Walk the Plank, I would say, oh, cool, I really liked it. Good game, perfect. But to be honest, if I compare that with Walk the Plank, I really love Walk the Plank. And this. Really? Yeah. And this doesn't click like Walk the Plank for me. So, um, but, uh, to be honest, I have no idea why, but uh, yeah, maybe because you have to deal what comes all on your hand. Well, I, I can see why some people wouldn't like it for the fact that there is, there seems to be more luck, like you're just drawing the cards and basically having to deal with whatever comes up. However, I think that the two actions on each card, like using it for either the air value or swim value, or using it for the action, I think that's where the strategy comes from. Um, so I mean, to me, that's not an issue with the luck or the drawing cards. I don't find, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, but to clarify that, it's not an issue for the game itself, but every time... So it's I personal preference. No, every time I compare that game with Walk the Plane, then I think, oh, they are both on my shelf, they are, oh, let's play Walk the Plank. So, because I really like Walk the Plank, and I really like Walk the Plank better than this one. So, but if there is no Walk the Plank, because this guy don't have Walk the Plank on his shelf, I would say, yeah, let's play it right away. <laughs> I, I have not a real problem with the game, but my thing is, and I can't switch that button off in my head. <laughs> I think so I always compare that. Yeah, yeah give me head. your head. You can easily switch some things off, it looks like. <laughs> oh, um, so... So, yeah, that's a little bit of so critics, if you would call that critics. Okay, so forget the critics, let's talk <laughs> about the fun and replayability then. So the fun definitely, for me, comes out of cutthroating in that game. Uh, this game is definitely more into your face, especially with the four Kickstarter cards oh, yeah. in your face of your <laughs> opponent. So if you hit one with, oh, you are losing a card and you are panicked, that in the uh, second phase where, where you are swimming up or upwards, that's so brutal, that cut you off. So easily they can kill you. So is I want to do that. So and. Obviously, always on the player who had the deepest diving in the first round. So it's so cutthroating, it's so brutal. That brings the fun for me into the game. Yeah, if you ask me to compare this and walk the plank, I told you we were going to do that a lot because uh, they they are similar in some senses. Oh yeah. But this one, I think, yeah, it's a lot more brutal. Oh yes. If you ask me which one I would like more, I, I don't know. I really enjoy this. It looks like a simple game. You're thinking all you have to do is just dive and then come back up. Yeah, well, it's really easier. It's a lot easier said than done. Because oh, yeah. in all of our games, I don't think... I, I think the person that made it back, there is... You know, they just barely made it back. I don't uh, think they made it back by... I would say while. made it back, it's only 50% of the game has made it back. So 50% yeah, diving. And the other thing I like about it too is that once you have made it back to the surface, you're not out of the game <laughs> because you can still use your cards on the other players who yeah. are trying to come back and you can use it to hinder those players too. So you're not out of the game ever. And I think that's really important about this game because it really keeps players engaged. Uh, another major difference is Walk the Plank is uh, what played three to five players. Uh, this one is two to four. But yeah. it has the option with the expansion here to add a fifth and a sixth player. So I think we played with five players before. Did we there play is for Walk the Plank a six player option as well. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it is. Just to let you know. But with this one, I mean, the more players, definitely the more chaos. And it also seems that the more players, 
You're not gonna is, be able is to go that down really, this far. Sean, is that really chaos for you? I would call it chaos. I think it's if chaos. It's, no, it, because it, everybody attacking people. And yeah, but like in what? Here's the, a panic. Oh no, here's a panic. Yeah, but this is not chaos. This is in your face striking. Chaos is for me. You can't think about that. Uh, the uh, the round before here you can easily calculate that if you are diving deep that everybody is hitting you with a shark a penny card or lose a card you know that that's that's not coming out of the nowhere so the other one is coming out of the nowhere you can easily kill yourself yeah but yeah I can see your point yeah for sure so but chaotic can... means for me even if you are just one move before your next move in in this one turn everything can change in this game you know exactly you get it in your face so what you're saying is that you can expect to be tackled you can yeah, expect yeah. to be attacked yeah. and yeah and, and and i'm coming back to a point you mentioned last time we played that you said oh maybe it's a good strategy to only land here instead of here then you made definitely the way back and once you're getting the surface you can easily smash all the other into the face yeah but then you got to keep in mind too i mean with less players you have the potential to go down further because yeah. there is more time like this is like a timer yeah i i know i, I know what you're but um, yeah, but, uh, you can also so, like what if in the situation if I mean what a lux bad. luxury discussion to talk about what is chaos for you and what oh. is chaos for me. But uh, yeah, the other one is for me a little bit more chaos, just just uh, by definition of the word chaos for me, my personal see, definition. I I think chaos is just everybody at each other's so <laughs> that's, 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 your, that's in your face for me. In your face, chaos. <laughs> okay, There's that's definitely a lot of that in this game. Yeah, but sure. this is really showing you used that's a very. That's honestly what I enjoy about it. I you think it's you awesome. used a very very good word for that. This is really brutal. It is, yeah. Yeah, definitely. that's that's brutal. So everybody try to, yeah, let's say kill you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you feel that we say, yeah, there's a lot of replayability, so not from the cards, not from, but from the group, it's just 10 minutes playing, 15 minutes playing. Yeah, it's not a long game at all. So, um, and Even with six players, we can finish a game in like, what, 10 to 15 minutes yeah. max? It doesn't yeah. take long. So it's just easy, and uh, some, some people would call it beer and pretzel game, you, you don't have to take a lot of <laughs> attention to their game. So, oh yeah, for sure. So, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, your overall score. Oh, yeah. Give us a spice on the spicy meter. <sighs> <sighs> and this is the first time ever in our show here where I'm so undecided. I really like the game. I, I would really highly recommend it. But in my mind, I always compare it to Walk the Plank. Okay, we get it. You like Walk the Plank. Yeah, I... <laughs> so... <laughs> Sorry guys, for me, buy Walk the Plank instead of this one. If you never get the chance to get Walk the Plank, this one is definitely the second pick. Uh, I, I would highly recommend it. I like it because it has... I didn't know about the sixth player for Walk the Plank, but... Now you know it. I mean, this plays well with all player counts. I think Walk the Plank... Um, it plays yeah, you differently have to... with less players. Yeah, yeah. So I think this, that's the good thing about this, it plays with good point. all players. Um, good point. Let's, let's, yeah. I, I will change my mind with less players, highly recommended. With more players, I would switch over to more play. You know what the easy solution is? Go buy them both. I mean, they're both cheap games. <laughs> they're cheap games. You get a lot of fun and replayability. You're a out trickster. Of oh yeah. I mean, I like them both. I Honestly, I'm undecided which one I like more. So for me... But would, please, do it for me. Do it once. Decided. Once. On. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Maybe, maybe this because I like the whole aspect of going diving and then trying to get back up. It makes it. You, you know, you really, so you that, really. That stressed. really hurts me. You really stress. You're like, oh, I don't know if I should go down any fo any any further, or should I come back to the surface? Am I gonna be able to make it? Or should I just drown this guy or drown oh, yeah. that guy? Oh yeah, yeah, you inspired me to another comment. You know, the aspect of the panic, I love that. I think that's cool. So yeah, I mean, I, I highly recommend the game. I think. It's yeah, awesome you game. you inspired me for my final comment. What's up? Uh, both games have a 
has a really, really, really deep theme in it, and you feel like oh, diving. Yeah, sure, you yeah. feel the pressure. You feel the, <laughs> oh, I must get back. And the same with walks. And so you are really intense by the game, yeah. which is for me always a really good sign for a game. Always. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's really awesome when a game can do that for you. If it gets that emotional feeling out of you, then it's it's not a job. Are you looking at the cat too. <laughs> the cat? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's bring her up, let's let her play. Okay. Yeah, on the table with your the kitty cat, come on. She does, she takes these and runs away with them. And uh -huh. You can hear her at night if I leave these out on it's, the table. It's your copy, I don't care about that. You hear this. Yeah, that's all I hear at night when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> or this. Okay, there you have it. While Niels is picking up the meeples, this is Hold Your Breath by Mayday Games. Please, I hope you get the chance to check it out. Awesome game. This has been another table talk for Cyril's breast peel. I totally butchered that, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, Schwan and Niels, right. give, give us a like and subscribe. Oh, your signature sentence. I want to get out of our face. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Come back. Bye. <laughs>